right, so now, now let's start the program one more time. So this one is bouncing back and forth. This one is bouncing back and forth over here. And obviously your Alonzo is not working okay oh your Alonzo is waiting for the yeses now see everyone is moving around now the question is what if you don't want to use this function called on the edge bounce you remember in the previous video when they were just going back and forth between two uh, left and right sides. So how do we stop that? How do we make sure that those situations doesn't happen or at least find another implementation of on the edge bounce? Okay, let's see what can we do. So now let's stop these for now. Okay, let's stop. For this particular one, let's get the on the edge bounce out and think about what can we do. Well, maybe Maybe we can, well, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about a few things that can be done. For example, let's think about a situation where we're going to create an extra two sprites. So we're going to, let's see, I have to, have, I'm afraid I have to duplicate this one and then throw away the code and throw away the image because I want to create a different sprite. Say I want to create a sprite like that. Okay. There we go. So now I have this. And the idea is that if the duck hits the sprite, it has to bounce back. So obviously you don't want it to bounce back somewhere inside you want it to bounce back like this so in other words if i want to think about the space i know zero is up down is 180 negative 90 is left and right is 90 i want to bounce somewhere in between negative 90 to 90. i don't want it to be 90 or negative 90 because then it would be go all the way left or all the way right i want a number to be between let's say negative 87 to 87. All right, so it seems like I have to pick a random direction between, let's see, direction, and obviously I have to go back to my code for the dock, and I have to pick a random direction between negative, let's say, 87 and positive 87 and once I pick that number I'm gonna point in direction of that particular number and that would be my new direction so instead of if on edge bounce I will do such a thing but that is for particularly this edge what about the rest for the rest of the edges I also have to implement so if this is not enough okay let's say um oh by the way i have to create an if statement as well so i have to say if you hitting or touching the black line and how do i specify the black i'll go ahead and sample the black so then i'll get that black actually this is not the actual black Go ahead and sample the black, 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 there we go. If you hit the black, then point in, the, in such direction and continue still moving, all right? And if you hit elsewhere, like some of the surrounding areas, still bounce back. Okay, let's see. Well, this should still work. So if you hit the black, there you go. Now from the black, you see that it actually acts like a wall. Okay, cool. If you want to create that for all of the edges, 
you have to create visual sprites on each side and then implement this if statement well what if i don't want to make this if statement based on the color what if i want to create it based on the actual name of the sprite well obviously you can do that so in here you can have the option of choosing the name of the sprite and in this case it's sprite 4 so i'm going to choose the name of sprite 4 i'm going to toss this out and replace it with touching sprite 4 and that should again give me the same functionality let's see there we go perfect okay so so far we learned a few things about how to um make these sprites move on and on and on for in a forever loop well it seems like at some point our game has to end so there would be a case of pause all all right so this pause all has to go inside the forever loop because forever these items are moving around you know the alonzo is moving left right so remember the for loop for alonzo it's a forever loop and for the sprite we just created our forever loop which has this touching sprite situation now let's say i have i create another sprite let's say i create a, an, a sprite let's duplicate the sprite very interesting it doesn't let me duplicate but finally it does okay i'm gonna duplicate this sprite and i'm gonna make it like a circle okay and i'm gonna for example shrink it so it will make it smaller and let's give it a color let's say this yeah red well, it didn't specify the color. I don't know why. Let's do it one more time. Edit, edit, edit. There you go. Oh, how do you edit the previous thing? Oh, never mind. We're going to figure it out later. So let's say we have. Oops, cancel. Do it one more time. Okay, we're gonna shrink it. We're gonna give it a color. We're gonna click OK. And again, we're gonna fail, which is fine. I think eventually we'll figure it out. Now, let's say we have this ball. And for this particular ball, let's say this ball also has the capability of bouncing around. So, this ball also has a forever loop. And let's say this ball also re receives the game start. So as soon as the game starts, it's going to start moving around. So when, when I receive the game start, go ahead and go into the forever loop. And inside the forever loop, go ahead and bounce. If you hit an edge, otherwise continue on moving and move, let's say, two steps. Okay. Now, when the ball is moving around, okay. Now, let's say it would create a situation in which if the Alonzo for example, hits the ball, the game is over. Um, we put the game pause all over here. So let's let's do it over here for let's say for one of the docks. If one of the duck is going to touch um, is going to touch Touch the black, which is the color over here. There you go. And then pause all. And that would be the end of the game, for example. Or let's say if that also happens for Alonzo. So if Alonzo 
also touches the ball it's gonna die but here you see that you have two blacks one is the line and the other one is the actual black ball, uh, ball. so here in order to specify exactly which one I mean I'm gonna call it with the name of a sprite so if I'm touching sprite 5 then pause all that means game is over you can actually also say print out something and then say pause all Obviously, you can't put the say after the pause because it will never get executed. But if you put it before the pause, that will be the last thing you will see on the screen. Game over. Alright, let's begin our game. We just created a game. It starts with conversation between an Alonzo and two docs. And then getting the confirmation from the user to start the game. And then giving some instruction to the user. And once the user agrees, oops. Well, that was not a good start. Let's try one more time. They died as well. Okay, let's take out the game over here. We don't want it for the duck. Let's remove that. Let's try one more time. And this time, only if the Alonzo gets hit by the ball. Okay. Come on. Let's say, oops, game over. So let's say I were to create a situation where Alonso has to find, get from this point to all the way here, and all these things are moving around, and he has to find a way to go through it. And once it hit, it gets there, then you will say, oh, game over. Uh, you will say, oh, you win, or you will increase the points for Alonso. And for increasing points, you have to create a global variable and then increment it whenever um, Alonzo gets from one source to another destination. So whatever I just implemented wa was basically the backbone for starting any possible game. Of course, you should not repeat the same thing as I did in, in here for your, mid for your mid project. You should definitely make it more complicated, but these are the major basic Thing. So basically, when you, once you know these, it's all a matter of graphics and making things more exciting. For example, you can create a maze where you know the Alonzo is going to move around, and if he hits the walls of the maze, for example, the color of that walls, then it will lose points. And once it hits, it goes all the way through the maze, it will win. So there's lots of things you can do with this game, and this was just an example. Right. 